This is a movie review. It's the 1962 movie, Birdman of Alcatraz. This was a biographical drama. It's directed by John Frankenheimer uh, from a, uh, a screenplay by Thomas Gaddis and Guy Tropper. Music by Elmer Bernstein. The cast in the lead role is Burt Lancaster as Robert Stroud. Carl Morden plays uh, uh, Warden Harvey Shoemaker. Uh, Thelma Ritter plays Elizabeth McCartney Stroud, Robert's mother. Betty Field is Stally, Stella Johnson, who becomes a loyal friend to Stroud and a business partner. Feto Gomez is played by Tali Savalis, a fellow inmate. And Edmund O'Brien plays Reverend Thomas Gaddis. In the awards uh, department, well, this was hugely successful, uh, but mainly nominations. Uh, Best Lead Actor nomination for Lancaster, Supporting Actor nomination for Salvales, Supporting Actress for Thelma uh, Ritter, and a nomination for Cinematography. It's largely a fictionalised version of the life of Robert Stroud, with elements of truth within it. It's dramatised certainly for the screw screen and it focuses uh, its uh, uh, drama at Leavenworth Prison, not Alcatraz, which the title would suggest it is. Stroud is convicted of a murder in Alaska and is moved to Leavenworth with a reputation of being a very rebellious inmate. Uh, he fights the rigid prison system and... Uh, we see this starting following the transfer on a rainy night when he breaks a window in the train uh, to, over, uh, to improve the breathing in an overcrowded prison van, not a train. <laughs> uh, his punishment's dished out by the warden upon arrival and this sets off a bitter relationship between the two and the conflict with Shoemaker established right from the off. Stroud, however, is a deeply religious man and he loves his mother considerably, but he just had a quick temper with all and sundry. We then uh, witness a, an incident with a nosy fellow inmate who looks at a picture of his mother and says some uh, pretty petty commodic uh, comment to Stroud and this leads to a vicious attack, uh, which uh, the response is he loses his visitation from his mother for a week. And this further incites him and provokes another attack on a butt guard, which uh, he eventually uh, kills. Uh, the result of that is that be uh, he, he is sentenced to death uh, for the murder. But uh, his mother engages in a mercy campaign with the local community and the President of the United States. And the sentence is commuted to life, life in prison, but in solitary confinement, known by prisoners as deep lock. We then see the, see the tone with regard to life in solitary uh, through Stroud's world. Uh, the viewer gets a bird's eye view of what this means, the list of do's and don'ts, haves and have nots, monthly haircut, listening to your heart, meals delivered through a hatch, es exercise restricted uh, to being alone. And it's in the exercise yard that strode in the pouring rain one night, spots a fledgling sparrow that's fallen from a nest, rescues it from certain death, and then this changes the whole tone of the movie. Stroud from being an antagonistic, aggressive, ill-mannered, and a hater of men, turns into a gentle, loving, caring man as he tries to save the life of this bird, feeding it with extreme care. He nicknames it Rocky and he nurses it back to health, sufficient for it to actually fly away. But the bird has been nurtured so well that he returns repeatedly uh, to the cell uh, window. The movie then shifts to the relationship between Stroud and his bird. And the warden takes little notice of this. And there's a passive acceptance of this pet. Uh, and others in solitary confinement then start to ask for birds for themselves and start caring for them. Uh, the warden uh, is then posted to the new state-of-the-art prison called Alcatraz, but his replacement seems impressed by the work that Stroud's uh, doing with the birds, and he agrees that the birds can stay. And we get a glut of birds uh, arriving 
uh, and uh, the inmates also have their own. And this generally improves relationships between guards and inmates. Uh, and it's a very moving part of the film. Uh, Stroud also requires materials to improve the, uh, the daily life of his birds. Uh, and so uh, he gets the, his guard to accommodate his requests to uh, build little uh, drinking uh, uh, containers, etc., uh, but his attitude is a little blasé and he gets uh, his comeuppance from uh, the guard about how he tends to assume that he's going to get his way and isn't prepared to uh, de deliver any thank you. He's witnessed Stroud's uh, change in behaviour. He becomes much more appreciative. The character Gomez, played by Sal Vallis, is also a very interesting character. He gets a bird and he calls it Jack. And he gets very upset and possessive about this bird because it isn't singing and asks Stroud to take care of it. And then uh, no sooner has Stroud taken over, over the care, the bird delivers an egg and Gomez becomes a, a very, very possessive and euphoric about enforcing his ownership and that Stroud was only sort of basically taking care for a limited time. Uh, but the cells become almost like an aviary and then a, a, a bird flu hits them and they start dying and Stroud goes to great lengths to try and find a cure for the bird flu. Uh, shows his uh, determination and learns from scientific journals and books about chemistry uh, in an effort to find uh, a, a substance that can uh, help the birds survive the disease. And uh, it, apparently the death, uh, the bird flu deaths are also occurring in the community. And it's at this point that he comes to the attention of uh, the woman, uh, uh, Betty Phil, uh, Stella, Stella Johnson, uh, and uh, <coughs> uh, and she becomes involved in a business proposition uh, with him uh, once he's found a a cure for the bird flu, and this is a very uh, significant point in the film. This bird issue, though, provokes a, a response from the federal prisons and. They're not happy about uh, pets being in the prisons and they basically decide to uh, impose a ban. But uh, uh, Stroud and Johnson get together uh, uh, advertisements and get the publicity from the public to pressure the system uh, so that they can uh, get this uh, overturned. And it leads to uh, them getting married and they're on the front pages of the, all the papers. And so the prison then has to back off and accept that the birds are going to be continued to be cared within the prison. Uh, there's a political aspect to this part of the of film, and I, but I won't go into the details. The marriage, of course, provokes jealousy from Stroud's mother. And this is another subplot. Uh, that enhances the film uh, as a quality watch. Continues to uh, learn about uh, the issue of care for birds and diseases, not just to birds, but to other species. And he becomes almost uh, known within the scientific community. He receives a microscope, for example, and uh, he has correspondence from scientists wanting to uh, gain more insight from his expertise and he gets some funding for research uh, and it's all together uh, looks a very positive picture for him uh, but the problem is he's still within the prison system and the hierarchy are not happy about him getting all this positive attention and so they transfer him to Alcatraz prison where there is a strict no pets uh, regulation. Uh, but then he switches to uh, finding out more about the penal system and the issue of incarceration and its effect on the inmates. And so 
this then leads to a new set of problems for the system because he's so well read and so bright. And of course, he's back with his old uh, stable mate, Governor Walden, uh, Schumacher, played by Walden. The last stretch of the movie is a little bit predictable. We get a prison riot. We get Stroud influential in calming it all down. And he, he basically then gets transferred to a low security prison and eventually released, whereupon he uh, makes uh, meets the priest who becomes the writer of a novel. Disappointing end, really, uh, but the gist of the movie with the birds uh, is a, a riveting watch. So anyway, I, I would thoroughly recommend this. Uh, anybody who's, who enjoys prison dramas, a tremendous performance by Lancaster once again, and a, an insight really into the, uh, the ter terrible uh, conditions of incarceration in, in the uh, federal uh, prison system in the United States. That's my review then of Birdman of Albatross.